to do a sprays for my people not here, man. Shout out to my guy, Kevin. All hail the beard, it's your boy, Big Beard B, and we are back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Fellas, as you can see from the title today, we are here with a first impression of a fragrance that I really enjoy. Well, I don't know if I enjoy this fragrance, but we shall see. Now, I know what you might be thinking before we hop into this, I want to talk about a clear the air, so to speak. Yo, B, where have you been? And man, it's just been tough, bro. I've been trying to get these videos and everything else that I do outside of YouTube together, and it's difficult. So, if you're down with YouTube and you know what to do, holla at your boy, we can make something happen, all right? Today, we're talking about the flanker to Sedge Bois, and this one is Sedge Bois Intense from the House of Mancera. Now, if you've been tuned to this channel, then you know that I am a fan of the original, the OG, and this is one of those fragrances that I really, really enjoy. So I've been talking about this fragrance for a while and I introduced this fragrance to the channel back in 2019 during week 75 of the weekly fragrance rotation. Wow, that's a long time when you think about it. And that was back when we were super consistent. Um, this fragrance is one of those scents that often gets compared to Aventus. It's a bold, modern fragrance that also has a classic feel. But what does the new intense version smell like and for me i think it should be a bit more intense <laughs> here we go man but before we hop into this i do want to call this out this fragrance was sent to me by crystal fragrance so shout out to crystal man you guys know i've been rocking with crystal for in a very long time and uh, i keep getting messages from you all about her magnificent customer experience and that's what matters to me at the end of the day so let's go ahead and hop into it and see what we get be quiet, get you a little ASMR action. Oh, can't do it that long. All right, man, so let's hop into it. The presentation looks very similar to any other the uh, Mancera fragrances that we have come across. And I would imagine that the bottle would be very similar. All right, man, you cut your little carrying pouch here. Uh, boom, all right, so this is the original. Let me the cap back on i'll take the cap off this one is the original and this one is the more intense version now from the video you likely won't be able to tell much of a difference but looking at it it's not much different either but is the smell any different now with the original you have black currant you have patchouli you had some bergamot there vanilla tons of woods and um this one here we'll see but first off the cap, all right? So the old cap that you just saw me struggle with was a twist cap. This one is magnetic, very easy to use, so shout out to them. And let's check out this distribution. One, two, okay, two sprays. Do a sprays for my people not here, man. Shout out to my guy, Kevin. That's dope, okay. Yeah, that's good, hold on, that's good. Bit different. Okay, all right, Th that's different. So. I'll, I'll tell you this here for me on first spray I find that the intense version is a bit more refined than the original so kind of think of obviously completely different than your Sauvages but how Dior Sauvage or the Parfum was still a magnificent fragrance but it was a bit more refined but more powerful uh, and that's what I'm getting with the uh, the new intense version thus far. Now listen, I think I need to be clear when I talk about the refinement of the intense version versus the original, at least what I'm getting thus far, is I don't want it to come off as it's not as intense as the original because it definitely is, if not even more so of what I'm getting, but it does come off as a bit more refined of a scent. And by that, I mean, it is a, a kind of more elegant in terms of its approach versus the original. And I think that when you look at that opening, that black current is really there, that tartness from the original is toned way down and it's very, very nice. So again, for me, this one does open up with a very similar feel that you got with the OG, but this one is sharp, but not as sharp as the original. Uh, this one is, again, refined, elegant touch to the scent. And then it begins to quickly begin to kind of settle back a bit into something that I enjoyed in the original, which is, I still think that the original was sexy. And this one is sexy too, with a 
great masculine feel here. So I know sometimes when we talk about fragrances in terms of if they're sexy or not and that sweetness that goes along with them, this one is very minimal sweetness, but heavy on that masculinity aspect here that I think will help you enjoy wearing this scent. Now, uh, when I think of this fragrance, is it intense? Yes, it is. Is it overtly intense where this is going to be something that is mind-numbingly strong in someone's head? I don't think so. I think that this fragrance is one of those that you can wear with confidence, wear uh, to the office with ease, spring and summer. This is going to be a go-to no doubt. Now, again, when I say that this one is refined, I have to tie back to that one because I think that although this one is intense, it's powerful, and it does seem to be something that is going to last for a bit, so far on skin, this fragrance, so it's fruity, that component is there. You also have that, um, that, that black currant there. There's a bit of spice here, and then a, a very subtle floral to me, but I'm getting some of that woody nuance here, and, and I really enjoy how it transitions from that top into what now I'm experiencing within the base. Now, within the base here, there is some leather, and the leather is an authentic leather to my note, but it, it doesn't overpower and overshadow some of those other notes that we get in the base. It's there enough where you can grab it, it adds some depth, and it's very different than what you got in the original. And honestly, I think that more people are gonna gravitate to the intense version than the OG. In fact, let's take a pause for the cause and go through some of the notes here within this fragrance. So within the top here, we have bergamot, lemon, black, and pink pepper. That's probably where some of that spice is coming along with that black currant. As we go into the mid or the heart of this fragrance, there is some patchouli leaves, suede leather, Cambodian oud, and white sandalwood. Now with that Cambodian oud, I wanna be very clear here that I am not getting a skanky, dirty, Ooh, that's not what I get within this fragrance. In fact, I think that the scent is something that is really enjoyable, and if anything, it's something that they can speak to in terms of the hardiness of the scent, so to speak. And then finally, we get into the base here where there's an ambergris, musk, vanilla, um, wild oak moss, and then also I'm detecting that leather here in the base. So that's what we get with intense sedue Bois. So when we're considering the intenseness of this fragrance, this one is an extract that perform at 45% fragrance concentration. When I when I smell this fragrance here, I just smell something that to me still does have that classic but modern feel, but it's also something that is super easy to wear. This is going to be something that is going to be a hit in the office. Uh, again, when it comes down to the amount of sprays on this fragrance, obviously I haven't taken this one out into the field to test it to determine what's going to be that optimal number, but as just generally speaking, I think that you'll be good in terms of that three to seven sprays depending on where you are whether you're going to the office or you're just enjoying a date out and about casually you might determine uh, one of those are going to work for you in terms of that spray count unless you just want to go all out all right so again I've really been impressed with the OG and this one here is not disappointing me thus far I will bring you an official review where we dive into the full longevity but just based upon what I'm seeing in terms of the note breakdown that concentration and what I'm getting on skin thus far from the time that I originally sprayed this fragrance to completing this video I am encouraged in terms of where this fragrance will go in terms of complete longevity projection and overall performance so as it relates down to my final first impression thoughts on this scent is this one a hit or a miss and I think that this one is going to be a hit all right uh, listen the original fragrance when we look at Cedric Bois was a fantastic fragrance in my opinion that's one of those fragrances that I put on my top 10 for life series in terms of what that fragrance had to offer and that's one that I took with me over and over again but I can easily see me replacing that one with this one in terms of bringing this with me out and about when I'm traveling as a scent that I would go to for both uh, wearing into the office and business professional situations where I want to set the tone I want to be not the average in terms of scent and kind of exert a little um 
power, if you will. This fragrance definitely has that in, but it is also uh, very refined, elegant, and it does have this sophisticated, rich feel to it that, in my opinion, does uh, top out the original. So that's my take on uh, the Intense Cedre Bois from the House of Mancera. Again, holla at Crystal over at Crystal Fragrance. She will ensure that you are taken care of, man. And as always, I'm your boy, Big BB. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.